Yo, what is going on guys? Let's go ahead and get into one of the harder blitzes in the game to pick up, and that's going to be out of the 4-3 over formation. Now, 4-3 over gives you a couple different options in terms of blitzing. you got Fire Zone 2, which is going to be your um, generic cover 2 with soft squats out there. Um, you also have Mike Will Blitz. You also will have your traditional uh, cover 3 look with Will Blitz 3. So, the main one you're going to want to run is going to be Will Blitz 3. And we're just going to pick a random shotgun play. It doesn't really matter. We'll go to Trey. All right. So, what you want to do with this is you want to come out, you want to press, blitz all your linebackers, and shift your defensive line to the left, and then press a couple times to get your linebackers into the gaps, as you see here. Now, after you do that, you just want to blitz the safety. So, this is going to be your traditional... 8-man blitz, very similar to a um, Engage 8 in essence, but you can adjust out of this, right? Once you get the linebackers into the gaps, you can man up a linebacker on the running back. You can man up the tight end. You could do something like this where you take the linebacker and you man them up to, say, the slot receiver over there. But generally, like you want to be blitzing 7 people out of this. And using one of these two middle linebackers as additional coverage. But what's going to happen is they're just going to get absolutely screamed at by pretty much everybody. As you saw, I was having people come free everywhere. And the disengages on this are just absolutely crazy because they all take weird rushing angles. So as you see, like typically, the if this defensive end right here gets off a little bit faster... That's going to allow the linebacker to come in free. But the fact that Frank Clark was... I believe that's Frank Clark. Yeah, Frank Clark was lollygagging and allowed our linebacker to get cut. But once he got cut, everybody else over here are, just seemed to disengage. I mean, as you see, we have three people basically disengaged at the same exact time. So, let's go ahead and I'm going to do it again. We're going to shift, press, blitz the safety... And then we're good, right? Now we make our adjustments. So we could go ahead and man up the slot receiver again. Say we w are worried about a tight end on the drag route, we would play these routes over here. Um, and you can play everything quickly, right? Because they're not going to be able to try to bomb you deep. It's just not going to be a thing that happens. There you see we get two, pe two people coming in free again. So let's go ahead. We should do it a couple more times. Now, say we wanted to blitz off the right. Say we wanted to do something like this. We know they're going to max protect, so we don't have to worry about the tight end and the running back. We can manually play this B receiver ourselves. And now you see, once again, we had three people coming in free. So, um, this is one of the ultimate blitz all style of a defense. Is you are blitzing seven people consistently, um, but... It's one of those that's going to be damn near impossible to pick up. So that was cover three. Like I said, you can use the Mike Will Blitz to do kind of the same thing. Because you're blitzing the safety down. The difference is you see this linebacker on Mike Will Blitz will not actually come into the gap. So there is a tell right there. Um, but if they don't you know, basically get the ball off instantly, they're that are really going to be in trouble. Um, and then finally, I'm going to show you one more time with the cover two version of this. And this is going to be the fire zone two. We'll go to bunch. Now this got, the alignment of this got all jacked up based upon that but you'll see it's not gonna matter like once again there's three people coming in free um it's just the way that the d-line typically reacts so you see now we've got everybody here what's the safety now when you're in this cover two version you really have to play careful because you're basically turning this against any wide set like this you're basically turning this into a cover three anyway which is why I recommend just using the cover three. Um, but as you see, I mean, that's three people coming in free. There's not much you're going to be able to do. This is, in my opinion, 
uh, right up along with 4-4 as the best, you know, engage 8 style blitz crib defense in Madden 20. 